Howdy folks, it is Aiden here from Pure Game Guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to finish up the Yugao Cleansing Quest in Genshin Impact. So for this one, you want to start off by heading back to Kanda Village and jumping back down the well in the back of the Chief of the Village's house. Just drop down and go all the way back down to that very first room you were in where you cleared the very first barrier. Once you get down there, have a chat with Kazari and she is going to ask you for one more favor. You think you're finished with this quest line, but you're actually not. There's more work to be done. After this, Kazari is going to want to meet you near Mount Yugao. Teleport over to Mount Yugao and then jump off um, the side of it down to this double arch gate here that you can find Kazari hanging out once again. You'll need to talk to her some more. She will eventually cause the strange blight thing below you to sink, I guess, and you'll be able to drop down into a large cave down there. Now, once you get down here, it's gonna play out much like the last room we were in to clear the barrier, where you have to keep on getting that Electrogranum buff by interacting with the Thunder Sakura bows, these little things here. You just gotta keep hitting square at them or on whatever, you know, platform you're on, whatever the relevant prompt is. Just keep doing that to keep yourself protected from the environment, which will be slowly damaging you over time, or make sure you have plenty of heals. While you're down here, you're gonna have to deal with this tumor thing. And that involves taking out these bosses first. You need to kill these bosses, which will cause a pattern to spawn in, just like the barrier quest. You will need to write out or draw out the pattern on the lanterns that are in this room. Now, here's the thing. Once you have that done, the tumor itself will drop down and you will get an opportunity to damage it. So all is fair in love and war. Just take out these mini bosses, solve the puzzle that uh, spawns in, in the center. As you can see, this puzzle is super easy. It's a straight line, and the second one is a straight line. The only one that's even remotely complicated is actually the third one. The third mini boss fight is actually a double mini boss fight. So prepare to take out two of these guys. Once again, make sure you have some decent healing in your party or you're gonna know about it because eventually the damage from the tumor that's shooting down at you and all the bosses and the environment will just build up and take you out if you're not careful so you can see here the pattern is fairly simple the first lantern as always will be set to one the two closest lanterns on the left and the right side should be set to two each and then the two furthest away lanterns on the left and right side should be set to three each and that's it, just go back and interact with the main lantern again and you will be good to go. Remember, I haven't shown the first two ones, there's really nothing we can do to help you there. They are simply straight lines going from one lantern to the next, either to the left or right. That's it, um, extremely simple. As far as overall puzzles and challenges goes, the real struggle here might be for people who are trying to figure out how to do damage to the actual tumor. Um, it pretty much seems to take damage from any and all sources. It doesn't really seem to matter what you are running, so just run your strongest possible combat squad with some good heals and you will be fine. It might just take a little while. It's a tough, tough health bar to work through. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you found this at least a little bit helpful if you've been struggling. As always, if you did, you may consider liking and subscribing. And thank you so much for watching.